Good morning, Washington Elementary Patriots, and welcome to WSIC, Washington School is Cool News Program. I'm Nevaeh York, your news anchor for today. Today is Wednesday, April 12, 2017. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. As we continue to celebrate National Library Week, here are a few statics about our Washington Elementary Library and a few books being read by our patriots. We have more than 14,000 books in our school library. The most popular book in the library is Magic Treehouse, Dragon of the Red Dawn. Next are Harry Potter, Diary of a Wind Beacon, and Invention of Hugo Carpet, Car Cabaret. Don't forget about Junie B. Jones. It's, it's also a very popular book for first and second graders. There are a few more pictures with patriots with their noses in a book. On the menu for lunch today, you have we'll have a choice between mom's chicken leg and biscuit, ham and cheese sub, mashed potatoes with sweet green peas, apple with caramel and raisins will also be served. Let's now check in with our other WSIC reporters and see what they have to share with us today. Good morning, I'm Jackson Berrigan, your WSIC meteorologist for the week. Today will be 75 degrees. It will be partially cloudy. Tomorrow will be 71 degrees. It will be partially cloudy. Our proud, our proud patriot for the day is Sylvia from Morning Center B. Looking great, Sylvia. Thanks for your help. Reporting for WSIC, I'm Jackson Bergen. Tune in tomorrow for the day's forecast. Now back to the studio. Today's science question, question asks, how do bubbles get in soda? Those fizzy bubbles get in your drink through a process called carbonation. A machine forces carbon dioxide, a gas, into a bottle or can of liquid. Then the bottle is sealed quickly to keep the gas inside. When you open the bottle, you might hear a pop or fizz. That's the carbon dioxide being released. As the, ga as the gas rushes out, it forms bubbles in the drink. Each bubble is a, is a pocket of gas headed to, to the top to escape. The term seltzer water comes from the name of a spa town in Germany called Niederselzers, where the water is naturally carbonated. Whether you call carbonated beverages soda or pop depends on where in the United States you're from. If you're from a Midwestern state, you, pr you probably call it pop. But if you're from California or the n Northeast, you'll, you'll ask for a soda. Southerns call most carbonated drinks Coke, even if they're not made by the Coca-Cola company. Today's tech tip app is called Grammaropolis. It is rate, rated for ages four and up. This app has received three out of five stars in the Apple App Store. After using this app, I rate it 
it two out of five stars. The object of this game is learning grammar has never been more fun. What I like best about this app is that you will learn grammar more than you used to know. What I like least about this app is some of the words that you don't know the answer to, the words get harder. Overall, I think this is a good app. Remember, you must get your parents' permission before downloading any app. I'm your Alyssa for your tech tip. Now back to the studio. Thanks, team. Remember, if you have anything exciting happening in your learning center, please let WSIC know. Send an email to our crew at WSIC at K12K.com. Why did the computer sneeze? It had a virus. Signing off for the WSIC crew, I'm Nevaeh York. Tune in, tune in next time for your WSIC news. Have a great day.